Happening this weekend on Tybee Island, a bittersweet goodbye. A loggerhead turtle at the Marine Science Center is soon heading to his new home. And Alexis King went out to Tybee to say goodbye. She's here this morning with more about Ike. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. There's a new man in my life <laughs> and he's leaving. <laughs> I'm so upset right now. But anyway, Ike's been out there for three years at the Marine Science Center and he's helped bring awareness to thousands of students and visitors. But the center says time for Ike to go back where he belongs. Tomorrow is the big day for a three-year-old loggerhead turtle named Ike. He's been a resident at the Tybee Island Marine Science Center, and tomorrow he's moving out. We're sad. Executive Director Chantal Audrun tells us how Ike came to the center. He was born during the pandemic, and like everyone else, he self-isolated. When all of us were in our homes, um, Ike was straggling in his nest. He didn't get out of his nest, nest 12 in 2020. That's when the Science Center took him in. We got a look at Ike's living quarters. It's not super fancy, but it's bigger than his old tank, so he seems pretty happy. This is a huge upgrade for Ike and for the Science Center staff, and so we're so proud. He's proud that he got to be the first representative here, but yeah humble beginnings and I think that's good for our character. Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch, so Ike's been earning his keep by acting as the center's debris ambassador. But his job is to do is to teach against marine debris. Plastic bags, single use can look like jellies that are often eaten by sea turtles. Also straws are a new threat and so he teaches against uh, marine debris. Chantel tells us how Ike will adapt to his new surroundings. He's an animal that's um, a living dinosaur. He's been on the planet over 200 million years, and so he knows exactly what to do. So he's going to get out there, have the zoomies, and probably eat some blue crab. Don't worry, the center will continue to track Ike and record his progress. So we always track our sea turtles with two flipper tags, so he'll get some piercings before he leaves. Ike's not going to have a GPS tracker, though, because he's dealing with an old flipper injury. He's like, man, why you got to tell him my stuff? Okay, well, we didn't mean to embarrass him, so we'll just let him leave with his dignity. And Ike's departure means there's an opening now for a new debris ambassador. Here he is. Meet Westy, a young loggerhead from Osibo Island. Um, our new marine debris ambassador is ready to take over. He just turned one, and he's a ham, and he likes the attention, whereas Ike is our shy guy, and so it will be a, a nice changing of guard. Chantal told us what she thinks Ike would say as he bids farewell to everyone. I think his advice to anyone else would be to keep his beach clean and keep his waters clean. Yeah, he would say keep your trash out of my oceans. Yeah, keep your trash out of his oceans. Well, you can go see Ike for yourself. The release is going to take place tomorrow morning at the Tybee Island Marine Science Center. That's going to be at 8 o'clock. You can find out more information about the center on our website. That's WSAV.com. I'm Alexis King on your side and on Ike's side for News 3.